And hi there, Philip here. In this preview, I will show you all of the features, all the functionalities you will work on and you will implement in this 2D mobile RTS game development course where you are going to create this game from zero to launch. Let's take a look at all of the features and then I will be talking about the course. Here we have your map, your game environment. On the north, we have a human camp and this will be controlled by you, by the player. On the south, we have the enemy camp, where the enemies, the orcs, will be spawned and they will be attacking your camp. The point of the game is to defend or survive all the waves and your king has to survive all of the waves. As soon as you will lose your king, the game is lost and that's game over. Now, let me play the game so you will actually see all of the, all of the functionalities we can do. Okay, so I will start from the menu scene, so you can see how the menu scene also look like. Uh, turn on the sound, so it's easier for you to hear and that's how the game looks like the menu scene now we can play it and we'll go to the game modes so we'll be playing immediately you will see that i can take my units and i can send them oh there's turn it a bit down you can send them to mine the gold and i can send the other builders here to mine the resources for the lumber then i can control my units there's my archers they can attack the enemies and I can set the different modes, attacking mode or aggressive mode or defensive mode. Attacking mode means that as soon as the, the player will see the enemy, it will start attacking it. I will take my builder and I can build some uh, towers. So I can build a tower here. It costs 150 gold and 150 lumber. And yeah, I can build it on the empty space. So confirm here and I can build this building. As soon as it will be built, that, we, the, the tower will start attacking the, uh, the enemy. I can build more buildings, I can also train more units. I can send this unit to the to the lumber. I can build more uh, units here or build uh, builders which can send for lumber, for example. I need more lumber, so I will send them for, for lumber. Okay, and that's how it works. I can train more I can train more units. My uh, archers, for example, I can train more archers. You can see I was missing 10 lumber. Now I got more 10, 10 more lumber and I can train more archers. Cancel this, set the archer here. Okay, so that, that's how it will go until I will defeat all of the enemies from all the waves. And as soon as I will defeat all of the enemies, the game will be won. Now you can see the fight will be fighting wave two. So now I need to defend all of the enemy units from the wave two. I can send my unit here and I can try to defeat all of the units. So you can see actually a winning condition. Okay. This is just uh, for testing purposes, so that's uh, we, we can specify the enemy waves as we want, we can specify how many units we will send, how often they will go, so we can all specify all these things. I just want to show you now how the winning condition will uh, look like. Okay, I will defeat this unit, for example, and one more is there, and you can see there's all kinds of, a lot of units. Maybe I can, even I can lose this game, even though the king is quite powerful unit, but I can still lose. In this core, we'll be implementing from everything from scratch, so we'll be not using any third-party libraries for anything uh, a part of the design. All of these assets you can see, the warriors and everything, will be using third-party assets, but all the code, all the functionalities will be implemented uh, by us. So you, you can learn a lot of things. I, I have been defeated because my king has been uh, killed, so I need to restart the game or quit. When you restart, it will go over again. So that's all the features. I can show you that we can handle also many units at the same time without any problem. So I can prepare here some nice battle of the enemy units here. And I have here some human army here. <laughs> we can try to see how the battle will go. And yeah, so you can have even multiple units here. And currently they are not attacking for some reason. Ah, oh, now they are going. Okay, now the game started. Here you can see I can easily handle multiple units at the same time without any lag without any loss of FPS. So that's, for example, how it would look like when you will be sending multiple units. Okay, I, I went overboard with this, so I've sent a lot of units here. Okay, so there is like more than 100 units of orcs and almost like 50 and more units for, for humans. So that's a game that we will implement from scratch. And as I told you, it, you will also launch it. So I will show you how you can put this 
into the actual store, to the app store, and all of these things, what you need in order to set it up. So we'll be setting up also a website for our game, and we'll be placing all the description. This is my old game, I'm just showing you now, and <laughs> that's not the current game. So I will show you also how you can create your uh, website, where you can put all the descriptions of your put the, the entire description of your game, how you could set up the privacy policy page, if it is necessary in order to uh, put your game on the App Store or Android Store. And uh, all this will be, all these things will be taught, taught in the course. Then we'll talk about uh, how to set it up on the App Store, of course. You can see this, my, that's my old game, so I didn't submit this game yet to the store. But we'll be doing all of this also for Android and for also for iOS. So it's not just a course it's just to teach you the topic, but also show you all necessary things you need in order to get it running and you can actually sell your game or you can offer it to your clients. Okay, quite a lot of, lots of uh, long description. I maybe I should also show you a small part of the code. So as I mentioned, we'll be implementing everything from scratch. So you will learn how to implement your own pathfinding with the A star algorithm. We'll be implementing A star algorithm for navigation of the units. So can they can evade the actual obstacles and all of these things. We'll be setting up some managers, actually a big, big class with more than 1600 lines of code. And all the all the features you see that there will be tons of code, tons of lectures in this course. The course is currently not finished because I'm still uploading uh, the I'm still uploading the videos and recording the more content. So, but you can already watch it. I will be I'm adding the more than five lectures every day. So five to seven lectures every day. You can find newly uploaded. The course will be finished as currently I'm talking, which is sixth uh, of November. It will be done approximately in a one uh, in one month. So just two weeks before Christmas or so. This will take a lot of time to record everything because I want to cover really the entire process of development of the game. In the meantime, if you're interested, you can also uh, watch some of my other Unity courses, for example. I have also beginner course, maybe one more advanced course for 2D game as well. So if you want, meantime, you can you can enhance your knowledge or you can refresh your knowledge. Okay, this, this preview is long enough, so I'm, <laughs> stopped. I, I'm, I'm finished here and uh, just keep an eye on this course. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. See you hopefully in the course. Cheers.